And Ovid is the one man who said he wants to meet them. There'll be no US threats uh, in the Olympic Games. He wants to meet their best and their best are here. And there's uh, more than a little challenge from Steve Scott, who said that uh, Ovid does a lot of talking, but has failed to turn up to meet him. And he feels that he's capable of beating him over this race of three and three quarter laps. Chris Sly there on the left of picture, 93, also running for Great Britain, wearing 5-0, the Olympic champion, John Walker and getting back to something like his old four. That's Todd Harbour wearing seven for the United States. And a great deal of tension in the air. Wilson Waguar in the back wearing 30. An incredible field. And uh, the news is that uh, Steve Ovette has never been fitter. Of course, the world record stands at uh, 3.32.1. This is about racing tonight, though. Ovette's here to beat the Americans. He wouldn't turn down the record if it uh, came his way, but uh, this is really about his challenge to Steve Scott, who won the U.S. trials in 3.35.2. Also, the 78 and 79 U.S. champion, Todd Harbour, and their other challenger, Steve Lacey. So, bouncing up and down. He's got John Walker, the Olympic champion, on his right. He's got Chris Sly. Young Chris Sly from Feltham, 22-year-old, on his left. And he might uh, just use him for a little bit of pacemaking. Waigua wears 96. Ovet 31. Walker, 50. Fontanella, 50, 61. Three and three-quarter laps. And this crowd that are so used to records, watch this tremendous pace. It really is burning off. And it's Graham Williamson. You can see by the duck of the head. And then Sly, the two Britons up in the van. And uh, Ovet settles in comfortably as the vault's in progress. Billy Olsen of the United States, his first attempt at uh, 5.50, but back on the track. Now, as Ovet gets to the shoulder of Chris Sly, following him is the tall figure of the New Zealander, John Walker, wearing 50. Outside him, the big threat from America, wearing six, Steve Scott of America. On the inside, Fontanella of Italy. We've got uh, Vessinghager there, wearing 55 as well, who will be in at the death, running wide in the blue vest but up in the lead. Sly leading round, Ovet looking comfortable and poised, and Scott watching him all the way. Then Fontanella, then Walker, then Williamson. 57 seconds at 400 metres, the time is fast, and Scott has taken it on. And now Ovet knows where the challenge is coming from, and Scott's the man that was said he would run the sting out of Ovet. He may have killing pace, but can he sustain the pace? over the whole three and three-quarter laps. We shall find out now as Ovet trails the American around. Walker takes up third. Sly is in third. And then there's the other American, Steve Lacey, who wears 85. And the crowd already chanting. Good pace. Really piling on. And certainly the Americans not letting it ease up. Steve Scott, winner of the U.S. Trials, the 1978 and 79 American champion, leads, leads our champion. It's Scott Ovet Walker Lacey, 153 seconds at 800 meters. And they're spreading out a little bit as Walker finds this pace pretty uh, telling. Then Vessinghager has joined in fifth. Still the American, and still Ovet looking good, just two yards back, but poised beautifully. And this tremendous crowd from Bislett that are so used to records, lifting them as they come around to the bell. Well, you can't complain about Scott. He's thrown down the challenge, and there's uh, no better or bigger challenge than that. And it's fast at the bell. 2.36 at the bell. That means that 56 seconds could cure could uh, come on to terms with Poe's world record. This is remarkable because it's a great race as well as a record run. And still Scott leads. Oh, it pulls out. Walker's in his trail. Coming up fast, the West German, Dr. Vessinghager, overtakes the Olympic champion. He's on Ovid's shoulder now. Ovid moves out and moves away. And the Americans lost for speed. And Vessinghager goes after him. And if he keeps this pace up, then the 3.32-1 of Sebastian Coe is not safe. Look at that. Five yards has opened up. The crowd going wild. Ovid looks over his shoulder. And conscious of the time, conscious of winning, the racer that he is, Relaxed, Ovid full of running, Ovid his nonchalant way to the crowd, a 
and Walker and Bessinghager having a battle for second place. It's going to be remarkably fast. Bessinghager second, Walker is third. Lacey is fourth. Scott's challenges run out. Williamson finished fast for Great Britain. But all eyes now. And we've got our watch stopped at 3.32.1. And that is what the world record is. And this was the run at the bell. It's an enormous margin, really. Joe Walker back to something like his Olympic best. Vessing Hager running for the line and just getting him there. Steve Lacey, who wears 85, the 1980 US champion, gets fourth place there. And look at Scott failing on the line. And that's a tremendous run in. And the time they're waiting for. We've still 3.32.1, which equals Coe's world record. And I think he just heard that. The remarkable Ovet, who, along with Coe, heralds the greatest period in British athletic history for 50 years, has equaled Coe's world record. 3.32.1, electric timing 3.32.09, and rounded up to 3.32.1, Coe's time was 332.03 rounded up to 332.1 and Bislett have the honor of yet another world record a world record match so Ovet on the eve of his departure for Moscow matches that world record and he matches Sebastian Coe every step of the way to Moscow